And your word of things sit with uh, Bailey Smith heading into this day? Um, clearly it's exciting that Bailey would like to get to us, um, so it was nice to find that out last week. Um, I already had a couple of conversations with Sam Power at the Dogs and um, you know, they were positive chats, so we'll see where it gets to over the next 10 days or so. It's, um, it's day one of the trade period and um, yeah, there's plenty to play out, but the intention's been really good. Did you offer more than your first round of the I'll keep that between Sam and I. Um, and those conversations, but uh, yeah, as I said, it's it's great that Bailey wants to come. He's out of contract, um, so hopefully, yeah, our intention is to do a trade and and make sure the Bulldogs are compensated. What was part of the pitch to Bailey apart from the lifestyle change? Was heavy midfield minutes part of that selling the dream? Um, oh, it was a bit of everything. Yeah, I think uh, Bailey's been spending a bit, little bit of time over the last couple of years down in Geelong and likes the idea of of uh, spending more time down there and. On field, clearly he's he's got some assets, but uh, yeah, I, I think without going too much detail, he gives flexibility from an on field point of view. But there's a lot of water to go under the bridge before um, before he's a Cats player. Andrew, do you think Clayton Oliver wants to come to the Geelong Footy Club? Um, oh, you'd have to ask Clayton and and, and his management that question. Um, you know, I think there's there's been much um, chat about Clayton. Um, we're really clear and respectful of Melbourne's position on that. Uh, he's got a six year deal. Um, contracted to them, so um, yeah, that's that question's probably best for someone else. Would you be interested in his services though? Oh, look, we're talking hypotheticals now, um, and so from that point of view, you don't like to, to delve too far into it. Melbourne's put a line through it from their end. Have you put a line through it from your end? Um, we, yeah, we're respectful of the, what they've said, and so from our point of view, we um, haven't spent too much time on it past that. Um, uh, when they publicly come out and spoke about, like I said, the hypothetical nature of, of this week and, and trade week is something that we don't like to get too far into. Other than, you know, th this is a window where you try and look at all sorts of things for your list and how you better your list and off-field things and um, staff and um, so we look at all sorts of things and um, opportunities. So you know, it's not just Clayton. There's lots of little bits and you spend a lot of time on things that don't end up eventuating. But you got to do the work on it, and that's what we we do. Can you shed any light on what? Oh, I won't get too far into detail, but yeah, I think um, I think there was um, some chatter that Clayton might need to look at um, something else. So um, you know, there's management involved in all that. So as I said, bit, bit to the question before, it's best to ask those questions to someone else. We've heard a lot about the beaches and the surf coast, Andrew, but what does happen on Reece Stanley's farm? Like, well, whatever. <laughs> Well, I wasn't in on that bit, Jay, but uh, he's just done a, a massive new build, so Clayton might have been on the tools for I know. Um, oh, look, I think those conversations are, are about learning about what we're about as a, as a club and, and I suppose you learn about individuals and, and players um, along the way. So, yeah, it's always time well spent when you get an opportunity to speak to any player, um, you know, in the competition. But, yeah, like I said, it's it's uh, not something I like to go too far into detail out of respect of the situation, but um, you know, it's it's a nice property that Reese does have. So you're still open as a free club to get in Clayton Oliver if Melbourne's position changes. Uh, we're respectful of the situation that Melbourne um, and and what they've said recently. So, you know, from our point of view, we haven't needed to think too much about it. Can you tell us how you think you can get Jack Martin over his injury issues? Um, yeah, we're aware of them clearly, uh, but really excited about what the possibility could be if we get that right. Uh, so it's going to be a work in progress with lots of people. Um, we're open-minded about uh, how that could look and how it could work. Um, you know, from a from a loading point of view and from a genuine management point of view, quality person Jack is. So we're really looking forward to um, you know come the first of November putting him on our list um, and seeing what can happen. It's uh, um, you know hopefully. Uh, that the change, as much as anything, might work. Um, yeah, there's no guarantees with that one, and we're, we're open-minded, but uh, excited about the prospect of it. Oh, the they, they're good. They, I must admit, um, it hasn't taken up too much time out of out of mine or Pat's or or the Connors group, to be honest. Um, I, I rang Pat on the week and I said, "Look, we'll get to your thing," and he said, "You've spent one second too much on it." So. Oh, I could imagine it's not going to take too much longer than that. Um, you know, Pat's going to be with us and, uh, and the contract will be a, a pretty quick thing. Um, we'll move through that easily. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thanks guys.